Hello folks, I'm back out in the garage again today. It's, uh, it was about 19 degrees when I got up this morning. It's probably around, I don't know, 25, 30 degrees. We had a little bit of snow yesterday. I was going to come out here yesterday, but it was just too darn cold. I'll show you what we got. Ooh, it's all white. Camera focus. There we go. But anyway, I'm going to start working on these panels some more and see what we can get done. Okay, as you saw, I got those pieces cut out, got the spot welds cut out of the back panel. Uh, this doesn't fit quite as good as the other one, the one up there. Uh, but I haven't trimmed out the panel yet to the, uh, the original part here. Uh, I am going to have to be careful with this, the, the movement this way. To make sure that I got it right. One thing I did notice that I, I made a boo-boo on whenever I cut this panel here, I also cut the, the inner panel. So I'm going to have to weld that in place in order to make sure that, that it's in the right place so that whenever I clamp the back side back here to weld the front side, that everything is in the right place. So 
I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Uh, probably weld this area here real quick. At least some tack welds. I'm afraid that if I try to weld it with uh, all the way through, all the way down, that I, I might uh, end up uh, messing up this panel here with this crazy welder I got. This flux welder. It doesn't do real good for that. So I'm going to work on this and then... Uh, bring you back when I start welding these two panels on okay I've got this thing ready to weld uh, I went ahead and you can't see it but I, I, I'll show you a picture of it uh, just as I did on this side here I primed that underneath piece uh, before I put this down So now I'm going to go ahead and tack weld this into place. And once I get this tack welded, then I'll trim this piece here. I'm not going to trim the bed back here because uh, it's just too hard to get up in there. It would be easier to cut the, the piece, I hope. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get this uh, tack welded in. And uh, earlier when I was messing with the weld grinder over there and off camera, I dropped my oil grinder down onto my mask. It broke the corner of it off. I guess I'm going to have to buy me a real welding mask. I should probably buy me a real welder while I'm at it. Okay, I'll bring you in and show you what I got done. I did get the off camera pretty much. I, I got uh, the both panels fitted and welded in or tacked into place. Uh, some of the areas like down here I was able to get welded all the way through. Uh, but I'm going to call it a day today. It's uh, still pretty cold out here. However, standing right here next to my heater, uh, has been not so bad, but the bad thing is my, I don't know if you guys noticed it before or not, but my garage floor is dirt. So what's happening now is after having 20 something degree weather the last couple of days, the heater's melting my garage floor. So I'm, I'm slopping around in the mud. It's, I'm slipping around. I don't, I don't like that feeling too much, but anyway, I'm going to, call it a day today and uh, come out tomorrow and and finish welding this into place I watched uh, several times I watched a video from from a, a company called Lakeside Auto Body or Automotive or Auto Body I think <coughs> and he did a video on welding panels in with uh, um, the same flux welder. His was a 125 amp. Mine's a 90. And he had his set on 5 with the low with the minimum which is what I have mine set on. I have mine set on minimum 5. Seemed to be a little fast. I brought it down to about uh, about 4.5 I guess. Yeah, 4.5. That seemed to do best for me without blowing through. Um, but like I said, his was a 125 amp, mine's a 90 amp. Runs off of 110. Uh, going through a good bit of wire, but uh, I've had a friend of mine that's been using this welder a lot more than me. So, uh, 
Uh, I do have another spool right here, which is, from what I understand, the Harbor Freight wire is not the best wire to use in the Chicago welding. And this is a 30. Uh, yep, like I said, I'm gonna call it a day today. Uh, I had got more done today than I actually thought I would. I'm, I'm happy to get both of these panels at least packed into place. I did notice that uh, right along in here is high. I, I guess I didn't realize that it wasn't meeting up to the panel really well. So I'm probably going to have to cut these grinds off a little, uh, you know, these welds off a little bit, and then uh, try to somehow <laughs> get the panels together. But uh, otherwise, everything's going well. The actually some of the welds are turning out better than than they were previously. Uh, so either my fiddling around with the wire speed has helped some, or I'm just getting back into the groove, or I, I don't know what's going on. It's still a, uh, not a great welder for body work, the uh, fluff core welder. Uh, the problem is, is uh, with, with body work like this, you need uh, some pretty thin wire, and the thinnest wire you can get in this is 3.0. Uh, so it's just needs too much heat for a body work. It can be done, as you see, it can be done, but uh, it, it's not it's not as clean and neat as a uh, a MIG welder would be. But well, work with what I got. But anyway, uh, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, and leave me some comments. I, I would always like to see some comments. I don't get many, but I, I like seeing them when I do. Uh, but I'll see you next time I'm out in the garage. Thanks for watching.